I am Toja Boy and you should know that or you are lost. Today we are watching Sherlock episode 2, The Blind Banker. This series so far, after one episode, has really impressed me. Thank you for suggesting it. Um, obviously we've got Game of Thrones this weekend as well, so make sure you stick around for that. That'll be tomorrow and Monday. Um, but really, let's just get into it and see what happens. Thank you for watching. Here we go. I'm so excited. Okay. The great artisans say the more the teapot is used, the more beautiful it becomes. That's some deep shit. By repeatedly pouring tea over the surface. That's just a waste of water. On the clay creates this beautiful patina over time. Some pots, the clay has been burnished by tea made over 400 years ago. Oh, okay, right. Now it seems a bit more ordinary. Weren't they used in the Doctor Who episode Stolen Earth at the very end, where um, Mark, well, no, at the beginning, when Mark is with that American general and he's like shooting? Sure, Alex. <clears throat> How will the bromance escalate here, I wonder? Sorry, I'm ashamed. I cannot play the drums. Why is that so loud? <laughs> Please try again. We've all been here. What in the what in item not scanned. Please try again. Can you get your voice down? <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Yes, Please right. use an alternative it. You took your time. Yeah, I didn't get the shopping. What? Why not? Because I had a row in the shop with a chip and pin machine. <laughs> you had a row with a machine? Sort of. It sat there and I shouted abuse. Have you got cash? Take my car. You can always go yourself. You know, you've been sitting there all morning. You've not even moved since I left. <laughs> <laughs> well, what happened about that case you were offered? The Jerry of Diamond? Not interested. I sent them a message. <laughs> 60 seconds apart. So, someone came up here in the middle of the night, splashed paint around, and left within a minute. How many ways into that office? Well, that's where this gets really interesting. Every door that opens in this bank, it gets locked right here. Every walk-in cupboard, every toilet. That door didn't open last night. There's a hole in our security. Find it and we'll pay you. Five Behind figures. the painting? This is an advance. Possibly. Tell me how you got it. There's a bigger one on its way. I don't need an incentive, Sebastian. Who's that? He's killing you, obviously. Shall I look after that for him? <laughs> It's 
to number 16, possibly, or 91, or... <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> That's got to be one of the best visual gags I've seen this year. Especially because it's Benedict Cumberbatch. Of all the facts. But the gun, he was waiting for the killer. He 
real threat. The world's run on codes and ciphers, John. With the million pound security system at the bank to the pin machine you took exception to, cryptography inhabits our every waking moment. Yes, okay, but... But it's all computer-generated electronic codes, electronic ciphering methods. Mm -hmm. This is different. It's an ancient device. Modern code-breaking methods won't unravel it. Where are we headed? I need to ask some advice. What? Sorry? You heard me perfectly. I'm not saying it again. You need advice? I'm painting, yes. I need to talk to an expert. Oh. oh, right, okay. Part of a new exhibition. Interesting. Call it Urban Bloodlust Frenzy. <laughs> Catchy? <laughs> I've got two minutes before a community support officer comes around that corner. Can we do this while I'm working? Recognise the paint. It's like Michigan, hardcore propellant. Say zinc. What about the symbols? Do you recognise them? Don't show us a proper language. Two men have been murdered, Raz. Deciphering this is the key to finding out who killed them. Well, this is all you got to go on. It's not been much now, is it? Are you going to help us or not? We'll ask around. Somebody must know something about it. think you're doing this gallery is a listed public building no, no, wait wait it's not me you painted that i was just holding this for a bit of an enthusiast are we <laughs> Back from Daly on Friday. Looks like he had back to back meetings with the sales team. Can you print me up a copy? Sure. What about the day he died? Can you tell me where he was? Sorry, there's a gap. I have all his receipts. Your friend? Listen, whatever you say, I'm not in you 100%. He's an arrogant sod. Well, that was mild. People say a lot worse than that. This is what you wanted, isn't it? The journalist's diary? Was he Amanda? Appreciative? No, that's not a word I'd use. The only things Eddie appreciated had a big price tag. Like that hand cream. He bought that for you, didn't he? Look at this one. I got a taxi from home on the day he died, £18.50. I would get him to the office. Not rush out, check the time, mid-morning, 18, we get him as far as... The West End. I remember him saying. Underground, printed at one in Piccadilly. So he got a tube back to the office. Why would he get a taxi into town and then the tube back? Because he was delivering something heavy. I did. This is... Small, but 
He's a ninja! Anytime you want to include me. Jump! No, I'm Sherlock Holmes and I always work alone because no one else can compete with my massive intellect. Not safe, don't go play on train tracks, kids. It's been painted over. I don't understand. It, it was here. This is incredible. All these pairs, John. Numbers. <laughs> Cipher. 
Only he would do this. Chichu. Chichu. The spider. I mean, she. Do you know this mark? Yes. It's the mark of a tongue. Hmm? Ancient crime syndicate based in China. Every foot soldier bears the mark. Everyone who holds for them. Holds? You mean you were a smuggler? I was 15. My parents were dead. I had no livelihood. No way of surviving day to day. Except to work for the bosses. Who are they? They are called the Black Lotus. By the time I was 16, I was taking thousands of pounds worth of drugs across the border into Hong Kong. I managed to leave that life behind me. I came to England. I guess you didn't get that far. They gave me a job here. Everything was good. New life. They came looking for you. Yes. I hope after five years, maybe they would have forgotten me. But they never really let you leave. A small community like ours. They're never very far away. Oh, bless her. Well, don't you start crying or I'll start crying. He came to my flat. No one needs to see that. He asked me to help him to track down something that was stolen. And you've no idea what it was? I refused to help. So you knew him well when you were living back in China? Oh, yes. He's my brother. Well, I know I said this before, but well, shit. Two orphans. Who's that? Who's that? We had no choice. We could work for the Black Lotus or starve on the streets like beggars. My brother has become their puppet. Power of the one they call Shan, Black Lotus General. I turned my brother away. He said I had betrayed him. Next day I came to work, and the cipher was waiting. Cipher these. These are numbers. Yes, I know. Here, the line across the man's eyes. It's a Chinese number one. And this one is 15. But what's the code? Will the smugglers know it? It's based upon a book. Hopefully I'll wait for the clip. I think she's already resigned herself to being killed. I should never leave her. So look, I'm gonna be honest, he beat your ass last time, I don't think you're gonna... Two hundred 
thousand years old. I have a bit of respect. Thank you. He's so good at the game. Why are the police such an asshole? What are you thinking? Pork or the pasta? Oh, it's yeah. Yeah. I suppose you're never going to trouble Egon Rene, is it? I'd stick with the pasta. I'm going to be doing roast pork, none of your slicing up cadavers. What are you having? Don't eat when I'm working. Digesting slows me down. So you're working here tonight? You're doing salmon some bodies. Some? Eddie Van Coon and Brian Lucas. They're on my list. <sighs> Could you wheel them out again for me? Well, well the paperwork's already gone through. Changed your hair. What? The style, it usually parted in the middle. Yes, well... No, it's good, it um, suits you better this way. <laughs> We're just interested in the feet. The feet? Yes. Do you mind if we have a look at them? Ah, uh, the tattoo. happen to visit the same Chinese tattoo parlor or I'm telling the truth. What do you want? I want to read a book from Lucas's apartment and Van Coons. They're books. It is a coincidence. That's wonderful. Thank you very much. Hi, I have uh, two tickets reserved for tonight. And what's the name? Uh, Holmes. <clears throat> Actually, I have three in that name. No, I don't think so. We only booked two. And then I phoned back and got one for myself as well. <laughs> I'm Charlotte. Uh, hi. Hello. <laughs> you can let me have just one night off for the Dragon Circus. In London for one day, it fits. The Tong said and decided to be in the rest of the time. <laughs> Walker, come on, Sherlock, behave. If we're kidding, I'm Clyde, could shin up a rope. Where else would you find that level of dexterity? Exit visas are scarce in China. They need a pretty good reason to get out of that country. Now all I need to do is have a quick look around the place. Fine, you do that. I'm going to take Sarah for a pint. I need your help. I do have a couple of other things on my mind this evening. Like what? You are kidding. What's so important? Sherlock, I'm right in the middle of a date. You're going to chase some killer while I'm trying to... What? While I'm trying to get off with Sarah. Hey. Ready? Yeah. Started as a sofa, it ends with a sofa. <laughs> That's right, fight him with a paint can. That's it. She's a badass! I like that. I like that a lot. Come on, let's go! They'll be back in China by tomorrow. No, they won't leave without what they came from. We 
Not by the hideout. Rendezvous. Somewhere in this message it must tell us. Well, I think perhaps I should leave you to it. No, no, you've got to study if you left now. He's kidding. Please stay if you'd like. Is it just me or is anyone else starving? Oh, God. John, you solve puzzles for a living. Consulting detective. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what are these squiggles? The numbers. Ancient Chinese dialect. Oh, right, yeah, well, I, of course I should have known that. What was this? <laughs> Just, just what the doctor ordered. Uh, I mean, I'd love to go out of an evening and wrestle a few Chinese gangsters, you know, generally, but a girl can't get too much. Hmm. Um, should we get a takeaway? Yeah. Page 15, entry point, page 15, entry one. I always get bored just in Chinese gangsters. Okay, now she's really funny. We wanted to kill you, Mr. Holmes. You would have done it by now. We just wanted to make you inquisitive. 
Do you have it? I don't know what. The treasure. I don't know what you're talking about. I would prefer to make a Saturn. Everything in the West has its price. And the price for her life. Information. Oh my god. Where's the hell? What? The Empress Pin, valued at nine million sterling. We already had a buyer in the West. And then one of our people was greedy. He took it, brought it back to London, and you, Mr. Holmes, have been searching. Please, please. This is I'm not Sherlock Holmes. <clears throat> you have to believe me. I haven't found whatever it is you're looking for. I need a volunteer from the audience. No, please, please. Ah, uh, thank you, lady. Yes, you'll do very nicely. You could just lie and tell them where it is, buy some time. Ladies and gentlemen, from the distant moonery shores of NW1, we present for your pleasure Sherlock Holmes, pretty companion in a death defying act. Please! You've seen me act before. How dull for you. You know how it ends. I'm not Sherlock Holmes! I don't believe you. You should, you know. Sherlock Holmes is nothing at all like him. How would you describe him, John? Resourceful? Dynamic? Enigmatic? Wait. That's a semi-automatic. If you fire it, the bullet will travel at over a thousand meters per second. Well? Well... The radius curvature of these walls is nearly four meters. If you miss, the bullet will ricochet. Could it anyone? Might even bounce off the tunnel and hit you. John's always saving the day. I'm going to be honest, I don't think that's going to be a next date. Oh, alright, there's a lot of around okay. Mr. Holmes, I have high hopes for your respect. Glittering career. Now I go where you point me. Exactly. <laughs> based in London. They travel over to Dallin to smuggle those vases. One of them helps himself to something. A little hairpin. Worth nine million pounds. Eddie Van Coon was the thief. He stole the treasure when he was in China. How do you know it was Van Coon, not Lucas? You were the killer, didn't know that? Because of the soap. Present. Oh, hello. Little gift when you came back from China. 
How do you know that? You weren't just his PA, were you? Someone's been gossiping? No. Then I don't understand why. Scented hand soap in his apartment. 300 milliliters of it. Bottle almost finished. Sorry. I don't think Eddie Van Coomer's the type of chap to buy himself hand soap, not unless he had a lady coming over. And it's the same brand as that hand cream there on your desk. Look, it wasn't serious between us. It was over in a flash. It couldn't last. He was my boss. What happened? Why did you end it? I thought he didn't appreciate me. Took me for granted. She's wearing the hair thing. Stood me up once too often. We'd planned to go away for the weekend and then he'd just leave. Fly off to China at a moment's notice. He bought you a present from abroad to say sorry. Come on. Just have a look at it. He really climbed up onto the balcony. Learn a paint across the window and all your problems are over. He bought it at a street market. Oh, I don't think that's true. I think he pinched it. <laughs> yeah, that's Eddie. Didn't know its value, just thought it would suit you. Oh? What's it worth? Nine million pounds. I still the lion. Without you. Without your assistance. We would not have found passage into London. Him. You have my thanks. That's what she did mean. She's only the expectations for everything. We did not know this man would come. This Sherlock Holmes. And now your safety is compromised. I will not reveal your identity. Another roller coaster, um, just really brilliant. Uh, obviously, this variety plot probably leading into the third third episode, I imagine, which is the series finale of season one. Ah, oh, that's gone quick. Um, but thank you for watching again. Um, I've, I'm really enjoying this so far. So good. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you tomorrow for Game of Thrones. Bye.